Welcome to Two Minutes with Around the Rings for May 5th, 2018. I'm Ed Hula. Alexander Zhukov says he can't devote the time needed to be Russian Olympic Committee president, so he won't want run for re-election this month. He'll end his IOC membership, and with it, chairmanship of the IOC COCOM for the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022. Juan Antonio Samranch, already interim chair, should take over permanently. The only candidate so far to take over as Russian Olympic Committee president is Stanislav Poznikov, a vice president. Zhukov, a member of the Duma, helped shepherd the Sochi bid for 2014 as deputy prime minister. He was elected to the IOC in 2013. Canoe and surfing are counting on the Court of Arbitration for Sport to resolve the conflict over which can claim stand-up paddling as a discipline. Surfing tells its side of the story next week in Around the Rings. Doha will be the test lab for innovation in athletics at the 2019 World Championships. IAAF Chief Sebastian Coe unveiled the changes ahead of the season opening Diamond League meet in Qatar. Among the changes for 2019, no morning sessions, a mixed 400 meter relay and a marathon starting at midnight. The Brazil Olympic Committee will inaugurate an online service this month that will allow reporting on integrity matters, whether it's sexual abuse, harassment, or other concerns. Tunisia has been told by the IOC that its bid for the 2022 Youth Olympics will not be considered unless it ends its sports boycott of Israel. An IOC Evaluation Commission visits Senegal, Nigeria, and Botswana next week, but not Tunisia. Registration for the Olympism in Action Forum, October 5th and 6th, is open on the IOC website. Emmanuel Moreau, formerly of the IOC Communications staff, is leading the event along with Becky Edwards, IOC Strategic Communications Director. APES, the International Sports Press Association, meets in Brussels next week. The 81st annual meeting of the group will deal with the impact of new media and organizers of events who seek fees from journalists to cover the event. That's two minutes. I'm Ed Hula. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.